Hi friends, today we are going to discuss regarding the lymphangioma circumscriptum. We will talk regarding the introduction, pathogenesis, histopathology and the management of lymphangioma circumscriptum. Myself Dr. Parth Goswami, I am the consultant pathologist. And so let's start the discussion. I request you to see the video in the highest quality. So first we will start with the introduction. You have to be clear that lymphangioma circumscriptum is a rare congenital disorder. It is a congenital disorder and it is uncommon condition. It is not a common one. Clear? It is one of the hematomatous malformation of the lymphatic system. Here what happen? Your lymphatic channel will fail to communicate with the venous system. So it is a pure benign condition. It is not a malignancy so you don't have to worry. It's a benign condition and it is called as a lymphangioma. Now you might remember that oma suffix is added to the benign tumor. So it's a benign condition. It is called as a lymphangioma. Okay. What will be the clinical presentation of the lymphangioma circumscriptum? So the lymphangioma circumscriptum will involve the skin and subcutaneous tissue only. It will not involve your systemic organs. Your organs will not be involved. It involves the skin and the subcutaneous tissue. Now which skin and subcutaneous tissue is affected? So particularly it affects your shoulder area. It can affect your neck area, your mouth, your upper or lower limbs and it can involve tongue as well. So these are the common sites. Now how the lesion will develop? What will be the clinical presentation? So usually patient is having the blister formation over the skin there will be formation of a blister over the skin right and such blister is filled with a lymphatic fluid it will be filled with clear fluid and sometimes the blister may change into the pink or brown colored structure now patient now few patient may present a race along with the vesicle Few patient can have res as well as the vesicles. Both can be seen. And if your vesicle is getting ruptured, then it looks like an wart. It can look like an veruca vulgaris. Obviously, it is a itchy lesion. So that is the clinical presentation. Remember, there will be blister formation that will be filled with lymphatic fluid, and there can be presence of res as well okay so this was a clinical presentation now the lymphangioma is traditionally classified into two variety lymphangioma circumscriptum is one of the such variety i mean we will see it in detail just see we can divide the lymphangioma based on the depth and the size of abnormal lymphatic vessel so we can divide like some lesions are superficial and some are the deep one right in the skin some lesion can be superficial and some can involve the deep lymphatic channel so based on that lymphangioma is classified so if your abnormal lymphatic vessel is the superficial then it is known by the name lymphangioma circumscriptum that we are going to discuss we are discussing regarding this superficial variety not deep one if it is the deep one then it is called as in cystic hygroma or the cavernous lymphangioma. So that is the classification of the lymphangioma. Now what is the pathogenesis of such a lymphangioma circumscriptum? So it's a pure benign disorder and the exact etiology is unknown. It can be primary unknown benign abnormality or sometime it has been observed that it can form due to the lymphatic channel damage. So that is the regarding the pathogenesis. Okay, now what can be the difference in diagnosis? Uh, what can be the lesion that looks like an lymphangioma circumscriptum? So obviously, if your vesicle is getting ruptured, then it looks like an what? So that is one differential diagnosis. Second one, it can be uh, look like molluscum contagiosum. Uh, third one is dilated lymphatic channel only, that is lymphatic Sometimes fluid filled blister can be seen in the herpes. So herpes also can mimic like uh, this lymphangioma circumscriptum. 
and finally condyloma acuminatum. You can do some serological test and the histopathology for confirmation of the specific disorder. You can do the histopathology or the serology. Okay, so now we will discuss regarding how you can diagnose such uh, lymphangioma circumscriptum. If uh, you have such patient with uh, race with blister, then you have to do the histopathological examination for confirmation. Clinically, it cannot be diagnosed. You have to confirm it by biopsy. You have to take the biopsy and send it for histopathological examination. So what will you observe in histopathology? Okay, so this is your epidermis, right? This is your epidermis and below which there is a presence of dermis. So the characteristic features are seen in both epidermis and dermis. In the epidermis, you can able to see the acanthosis and hyperkeratosis. And in the dermis, there will be presence of dilated lymphatic channels that may contain the fluid. I will show you the histopathology image as well. Uh, the, the case that we have diagnosed, we will discuss it in uh, later on in the slides. Now uh, we will see it in the image. So this was the case. Uh, we have got the biopsy from the dermat department and the biopsy was of uh, 1 by 1 centimeter size over the shoulder area. So this was the case. In the histopathology, we have observed that uh, there is a presence of abundant hyperkeratosis. Right? This is called a hyperkeratosis. Just see, above the epidermis, there is presence of thick keratin layer. So this is the hyperkeratosis. Right? All these are hyperkeratosis. There can be presence of uh, acanthosis as well, means increase in the epidermis thickness, particularly spinosum layer. So the acanthosis also can be seen here. So that two findings are particular to the epidermis, right? This is your epidermis. So in the epidermis, you can able to see the hyperkeratosis and acanthosis. Okay, now most important finding that is observed in the reticular dermis in the upper part of the dermis okay this is all is your dermis right this all below epidermis is the dermis region so in the dermis you can able to see one important structure just see this is the fluid filled dilated lymphatic channel why it is lymphatic channel this is the endothelial cells right why it is endothelium uh, why it is lymphatic channel because it doesn't contain the rbc if RBCs are present within this uh, lymphatic channel, then your diagnosis will be different, guys. So, this is the endothelial lined uh, lymphatic channel. You can see this is the endothelial, thin endothelial lined lymphatic channel. So, three characteristic findings are diagnostic for the lymphangioma circumscriptum. Always remember, uh, you will see the hyperkeratosis. There will be acanthosis in the epidermis and in the dermis there is a presence of dilated lymphatic channel. These three are characteristic finding of the lymphangioma circumscriptum. Again this is the same image of the lymphangioma circumscriptum. Now what, uh, what is the treatment for the lymphangioma circumscriptum? Okay. So, you have to remember that if the patient is asymptomatic, then no treatment is needed at all. You don't need any treatment. But if it is symptomatic like that of itching and changing much color, it, it is rupturing, then in such case, you have to do the treatment with surgical excision. So, surgical excision is a treatment of choice. Uh, sometimes you can, you can do the laser dermabrasion as well. Nowadays, it has been observed that uh, intranasal intralesional injection of bleomycin is a very effective as like that of surgical excision so that is also the another mode of treatment if your lesion is infected then obviously you have to give the antibiotic so that is regarding the treatment of uh, lymphangioma circumscriptum so this is all about the lymphangioma circumscriptum hope my video will be beneficial to you in making this uh, rare diagnosis if you encounter such a such case so if you got the bio, if you receive the biopsy from the blister lesion then you have to think regarding the lymphangioma circumscriptum as well hope my video will be beneficial to you if you like my video then subscribe my channel and press the bell icon 
so that you can get notified whenever I am posting such uh, interesting cases. Okay, thank you very much.